to lift level voice over off it's one of those rainy stormy days Bye, Bye. <laughs> can you say it with some more enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> so York and I, with my buddy Samson, we're off to tackle the shops. Now we're vibing. Now we're vibing? Yeah. Park right at the front? Yeah. Hey buddy. Wanna to go to Bunnings? Alright mate, that's you good. Good boy. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog, and uh, smash that like button as well. That always helps with the YouTube algorithm. Steady, mate. Find the doors. Find the doors. Leave it. Stop. Where are we going, Simpson? Where's the door? Just here. Hi. So yeah, head down. And for those that can't see, a sausage dog has just come through. So yeah, and down. obviously it didn't really like the look of York. And that does happen from time to time when you're out navigating the world through the eyes of a guide dog. It wasn't a major incident, but I thought I'd just share it as an example of the sort of challenges that you have when you're navigating with a guide dog. I think there's a perception that guide dogs are somehow perfect, but they're not. They are amazing, they're incredible. You know, the things that he can do, we're crossing busy roads and going up and down stairs and things like that, quite dangerous things at times. But the last thing you want is for your guide dog to be distracted at the wrong time. So I thought I'd use it as an example just to share a couple of things that you could do if you're out and about with your dog that could help someone like this, Yorkie here. So the first thing is try to put some distance between your dog and the guide dog. They'll happily keep working if they've got the room to work in. And the other one is if you're in a confined space and you can't avoid a guide dog, then <laughs> don't be afraid to speak up and just say, coming through with my sausage dog on a lead. Is it politically correct to call it a sausage dog? Not sure, but you know what I mean. When you're legally blind and you don't see another dog approaching, it is helpful when you get a heads up. Anyway, just a couple of things that you could do if you're out with your dog to help these guys. Um, you know, they're not perfect. They're not robots. They're very special. They are amazing, but they can be distracted. And it's not just barky dogs. It's, you know, dogs with waggy tails. So anything that you can do to, to help Yorkie and other guide dogs around the world would be much appreciated. Leave it, York. Leave it. Follow, mate. Good boy. It's all right. Good boy. York might not be perfect, but he is amazing. He's a part of me. He's... He's my guide, he's my eyes, he's the one that gets me around, anyway. Luckily, he's a little distracted, but we're not about to cross any roads, and I quickly get him back on track, and we're on our way. Yeah. On the door. Good boy. Oh, good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, all right, straight on, mate, find the car. Vibe check. Vibing. <laughs> oh wait, so what do you want to capture? I want to capture just my front a little bit, him, and then a bit in front. Okay, so you might want to put it down a bit. Why don't you just move it? Yeah, okay. That should be good. If you just take a step. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Forward, mate. Let's go. Just going to do a lap around first and then come back to JB Hi-Fi. York knows when the harness is on, he's working, and he does his best not to be distracted by other dogs. But there's always plenty of time at home when the harness comes off for play, fun and games, and there are lots of regular play dates with other guide dogs as well. So he's got a balanced life. He loves going to work with me every day, and he loves his playtime as well. Find the left, mate. Good boy, mate. Find the way. Straight on, Yorkie. Off to the escalators, buddy. Straight on. I'm going to go and find those escalators. Straight on, mate. You can do it. Let's go. 
So when we get to the top of the escalators, I always pause, give Yorkie a treat for finding the escalators, and that time gives anybody who would have been right in front of us a chance to um, get a little bit ahead, because York and I need some room when we jump off the other end. Oh, good boy, Yorkie. Good boy, mate. Sorry, hang on one second. Good boy. All right, on we get. Good boy, stop. Good boy, wait. So when Yorkie and I are on the escalator, I always make sure that we, we take up plenty of room. I don't want anybody trying to squeeze past us down the escalator while we're on there. And I reach out with my right hand so I can feel when it starts to level out. And that's my cue for us to run off the end. Feel the escalator coming up, so let's get off. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Yorkie. Left, let's go. Straight on, mate, find the way. Come on, straight on, buddy. Find the way, York. Good boy, let's go. Stop. Oh, you're a good boy. Good boy, buddy. All right, mate, straight on, let's go. Looking for those toilets. Find a way, mate. Stop. Oh, good boy. You found it, mate. Well done. You still there, Samson? Yeah. The other day, York and I were walking through here, yeah. and you got distracted by some little kids. <laughs> and we end up getting lost in Woolworths. <laughs> Good boy, mate. Come on, straight across. Let's go. But we find our way out eventually. With a bit of help from someone from Woolworths. Find the way, buddy. Wait, so did you have to go, oh, excuse me, do you know where we are? <laughs> it's exactly what I had to do. Good boy, mate. Find the way. Come on, mate. Hop it up. Let's go. Had to say, where are we? And get them to sort of point us in the right direction to find <laughs> our way out and headed the right way to get back. But people are pretty good. Yeah. Well, so you just saw the like some kids and he he just got distracted at the wrong time and followed them. Oh. Right, buddy, right. Find the way. Come on, come back to the escalators. Not going to the food court this time. Straight on. Straight on, mate. Find the way. Steady, mate. Steady, you Yeah. I can hear the walking stick. Steady. Okay, mate, find the way. Nice and steady. Steady, you're straight on. Find the way, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, mate. Find left to Kmart. Find left to Kmart. Yorkie and I have our set circuits that we do. We look for certain shops as landmarks and that way he knows where he's going and I know where I'm going as well. Good boy buddy, straight on, fine, came up. Good boy, you found Kmart. Good boy mate, well done. All right, back turn, back turn. Straight across, we're going to JB Hi-Fi. Straight across buddy, JB Hi-Fi. Good boy, Yorkie. Find JB Hi-Fi. Find JB Hi-Fi, mate. Where is it? Oh, good boy, Yorkie. Good boy, buddy. You found it. Well done. All right, forward. Let's see if we can find some help. And as it turned out, it was a successful shopping trip. 
I um, managed to buy an Apple TV. I'm not sure whether that's the right way up or not, but um, hopefully it'll help to make my smart TV a little smarter and a little more accessible. And you never know, there might be a video coming out on that in the not too distant future as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Smash that like button as well. And if you do, we'll be seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.